I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a trade map in between the regions of the colonies. Down here at the bottom, we're going to talk about the colonial exports. And I'm going to make a little box so that we'll color code everything. Next to that, we're going to put colonial imports and a little color coded box for that and finally the inter colonial trade and we'll put a box there also for color all right starting at the top over here I'm going to draw a circle and that's circle is going to represent the 13 colonies of the New World. Okay? Then I come over here on the upper right and I'm going to draw a triangle because the triangle is going to represent Great Britain. So you can see how we're going to set everything up. I come down below and I'm going to draw a rectangle and that is going to represent the West Indies. And finally, over here, I'm going to put a dot and I'm going to draw a heart. And that shape is going to represent Africa. Okay? Now, if you were in the 13 colonies, you would... We're going to take a slightly curved line and end with a triangle. You would send exports to Africa. Starting at the 13 colonies again, you would send exports to Great Britain. And these would mo mostly, mainly be natural resources. So that's lumber and fur, fish, tobacco, indigo. Okay? Then, if you're over here on the West Indies, these people would export going towards Great Britain, another triangle, and they would be exporting sugar, molasses, and fruit. So this is the first triangular, if you look at it, way that the trade was moving across what? This is very important. The Atlantic Ocean. So everything is by ship. Okay? Then it gets kind of spooky. From Africa you draw a curve line over to the West Indies and this is where enslaved people started their journey across the Middle Passage into slavery. So this is your enslaved people from Africa. Then from the West Indies going from the 13 colonies and going back up to the 13 colonies, their trade was enslaved people. So this is how that whole market began and continued. All right, now, the natural resources basically came from the 13 colonies. What did we get from Britain? From Britain, you're going to draw, if you can get it in here, we're going to draw a curve line up towards the 13 colonies. And they imported to the colonies manufactured goods. 
Now this is what's setting up the American Revolution. Manufactured goods. Okay. So you can see how they were all dependent with each other's trade in order to get the things that they wanted. Alright, let's color this in and you can maybe see it a little bit better. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blue-green and I'm just going to do some curved lines of the Atlantic Ocean because this is the thoroughfare for all of the goods that were sent back and forth. Next, I'm going to take a red crayon and I'm going to trace right next to this line from the 13 colonies. I'm going to color in my arrow red. I'm going to take this curved line and make it red also and color this in red. And from the West Indies I'm going to take my red crayon trace that curved line in this arrowhead. All of these were colonial exports. This is what people in the New World or in the colony sent back to Great Britain. Next, I'm going to take a blue and I am going to trace the curved line in this arrow for manufactured goods from Great Britain and I'm also going to take the blue line trace this and from Africa this is the route they took for enslaved people that is now going to be colored this box blue and it's the colonial imports these are the things that were imported from Africa that were imported from Britain okay then I'm going to come over here with my purple and I'm going to trace this line this line and these triangular heads because this was the interaction of intercolonial trade. So the enslaved peoples traded in between the 13 colonies and the West Indies. Alright, so we're going to color in our 13 colonies green. We're going to color in Great Britain triangle green. We're going to color in Africa green. And we're going to color in the West Indies green. So that you know if it's green, it's really talking about a land mass. Okay? And I know this looks whoop, whoop, whoop like that. Use your colors down here at the bottom. Colonial exports are red. Colonial imports are blue. And intercolonial trade is purple. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my trade map all colored in. Remember, you're doing colonial exports, colonial imports, and intercolonial trade. That's what this is showing and representing. Okay, bye-bye.